Assalamu alaikum students. Today we will learn all about house and the name of our topic is house we live in. In this chapter we will learn about the different types of houses. As we all know that house is a place where we live. When you visit your friends, neighbors, relatives, do you find that they have the same types of houses that you have? No, because people live in different houses. Houses can be of different shapes, sizes and can also be made of different materials. So, what are the materials used for building houses? Normally, houses are made of bricks, stones, cement and steel. The doors and windows of the house are generally made of wood. This type of house is very strong and is known as Pakka house. Whereas, some houses are made of mud, hay, bamboo, sticks and leaves. This type of house is called a hut or we can say kacha house. A kacha house can be made of can be made fast but it's not that strong as the pakka house is strong it can have many floors big cities have big buildings called apartments there are many flats in a single big building where many families can stay and they are known as pakka houses likewise can we say that kacha house have many floors no because it's made up of straw, mud, bamboo, etc. It cannot take the loads of upper floors. A kacha house is normally small in size and single floored. Now, we will see the various kinds of houses. What kinds of houses are there in the plains? That is low-lying flat areas. It can be of many types. If we see the roof, it can be flat. It can also be sloping roof. But do you know houses are made according to the climatic conditions of a particular place? The question here arises is that can we have the houses with flat roofs in the areas of heavy snowfall? The answer will be no. The snow gets collected on the roof top. Hence, the houses having sloping or slanting roofs can slide off uh, easily snow, whereas the Houses with flat roofs cannot uh, remove the snow easily. Now, what kinds of house should be there while it rains a lot? There should have sloping roofs. What there should be? There should be have sloping roofs like this. Secondly, if the house is on the ground, the water will enter the house and all the rooms will get filled with water. So what can be done? How about rising? The house is now house. Now the water won't be able to enter the house. These houses are called a house on stilts. All these houses like hut, like Bangalore, like apartment, like stilt houses. These houses cannot move from one place to another place because these are the permanent houses permanent houses cannot move from one place to another place whereas some people keep moving from one place to another place because of some reason so they make temporary houses that can be moved from one place to another it can be caravan or it can be block it can be houseboat houseboat is a uh, house built on water in India, houseboats are generally found in Kashmir and Kerala. Tourists love to stay in these unique houses. Now, do you know that there are other type of lightweight or easily carrying houses? So, what are these? These are tents. This can be fixed to the ground anywhere. Now, we will talk about a different, a very different house. It's built from hard blocks of snow it's called igloo this is a snow house and is generally seen in arctic region it's usually dome shaped people who lived here are called eskimos now it doesn't matter that the house is pakka kacha permanent or temporary the important thing is that it gives us shelter and safety outside the house it may be extreme cold or hot.
okay it may be rainy or windy but if we are inside the house it doesn't matter the house protects us from all of these things a house also protects us from thieves and animals but a house makes our life comfortable safe safe and healthy only when we follow certain basic rules the stand basic rules are that we should keep our house neat and clean we should keep our rooms neat and clean we should keep our kitchen neat and clean we should keep our washrooms neat and clean we should keep our surroundings also neat and clean we should allow sunlight to enter in our houses we should also let fresh air enter into our houses thank you that's all for now